Hello everybody and welcome. Hope you're all well. Today, today's an exciting day today. Yeah, yeah, we're moving on. We're moving on. I think we've just about covered all the modules. Um but what we're going to be looking at today is the ESP32 and its um internal attributes if you like. Um it's got a couple of things. It's got Bluetooth. And it's got Wi-Fi. Well, today we're going to be looking at Bluetooth. Now, there's um, two types of Bluetooth. There's the classic, which we're going to be concentrating on today, and then there's the Bluetooth Low Energy. All right, we're going to be, uh, as I say, uh, looking at the classic. We're going to be looking at the classic. So, um, and what we're going to do, we. Uh, we're going to need to have to download an app. We're going to have to download an app. All right. So this is the app. Okay. There's two places you can get it. There's the APK, and I've left a link, this link here down below the APK. But where I got mine, I got mine from Google Play. All right. And it's a serial Bluetooth terminal serial bluetooth terminal okay so you need to download that all right you need to download that so um once you've downloaded it once you've downloaded it it looks like this all right it's a simple little uh window it's got terminal all right and then once we've um We've downloaded the code, we then can start using it. All right. So, yep, as I say, exciting times, exciting times. Shall we write the code? Let's write the code. Let's go to our IDE, uh, uh, Arduino Integrated Development Environment. And first thing we need to do is new sketch. All right. Click on new sketch, a new sketch comes up, and then make sure you're connected to the correct board. Right, I've got several boards, so I have to make sure, double check that I'm on the right board. And then the next thing we have to do, we have to load a library. All right, remember how to do that? We've got library manager here. Click on that. And what we're looking for, we want the a Bluetooth serial. Okay, capital B and a capital S on the serial. And we want the Bluetooth serial by Henry. Abrahamson. All right. Here you'll have an install. I've already installed it and therefore um I don't need to install it again. All right. So there you go. Once you've downloaded the app and once you've downloaded the library, uh we can start. We can start. The so first thing we need to do obviously is hashtag include. All right, and it's that library, so we can use quotes and it's Bluetooth. Serial. Dot H. All right, Bluetooth serial dot H. Come outside the quotes. Enter. A couple of variables. So it's a Bluetooth serial. That's all that's on the uh, serial. All right. Space, and we're going to call it serial BT Bluetooth. All right. Semicolons. All right. So Bluetooth serial becomes serial Bluetooth, capital BT. Then we want a string. And we're going to call that buffer. Semicolon. All right. That's our variables. That's our variables. Let me just check them. Yeah. Okay. So now we want our void set up. All right. Go between these two. Enter there. Serial dot begin. Brackets on. It's one one five two zero zero. All right. The speed of our 
um, serial monitor, our board rate, semicolon, enter, serial, BT, capital BT, dot begin, and brackets on. And now we need to uh, name our Bluetooth device. All right. So it's quotes. All right. And it's ESP32, capital ESP32, and all small case test. Come outside the uh, quotes, outside the brackets, semicolon, enter. Right. Now we need to do a uh, serial dot print line. And then for line, brackets on. Then we want a uh, our quotes. Then we want a, a backslash N. Right. And whatever you want to say, really, whatever you want to say, because anything in these quotes will be printed. The device is started. Comma. Now you can. Pair it with Bluetooth. Oh. All right. Mass some quotes. That's on the brackets. Semicolon. All right, then three lines of code. That is our void, void setup. Let's go on to our void loop. A void loop is between these two curly brackets and it's enter. And in the void loop, we've got two if statements. All right. There's if brackets on serial capital S on the serial dot available. All right. Brackets on, brackets off. Come outside the brackets. Outside the second brackets, no semicolon after an if statement, curly brackets on, enter. And our first one is we've got serial dot available. So in this if statement, it's serial BT, all right, capital BT dot write, brackets on, serial read. Dot, sorry, read. All right. Brackets on, brackets off. Come outside the brackets. Come outside the brackets. Semicolon. All right. Come outside the if. If. Brackets on. So we've got, we've had serial. All right. Sorry. I'm going to have to take, let me take that out. It's serial, the first one. All right. Okay, so now it's it's serial BT. Hang on. No, that was right. Sorry, that was right. Sorry, I'm getting me uh me knickers in a twist. Right. So it's serial BT dot available. Brackets on, brackets off. I'm outside both brackets. Space, no semicolon. Early brackets, enter. Now it's serial dot right. Okay. Brackets on. Right. Serial a BT. Capital BT. Right. Dot read. Brackets on, brackets off. From outside the brackets, both lots. Let me code on. All right, let's move down a bit. From outside the if. All right. And the delay. Brackets on, 20 milliseconds. Come outside the brackets. Semicolon. Okay. So. Make sure I've got that the right 
serial not available serial bt serial bt serial right right read read okay let's upload it let's upload it to our hang on what we got here include Oh, so that's directory. In, ah, got the e. Bluetooth here. Okay, let's try it again. Little uh, typo there. Let me just start my phone. Ready for things. Ready for things to happen. A hey, simple little sketch. Simple, simple, simple. All right. So, <clears throat> next thing we'll go on to, we have to pair the devices, but it's, uh, show you how to do that in a moment. Right, we're uploading. We are uploading. Next thing we do when it's uploaded, we need to start our serial monitor. Hopefully you can remember how to do that. It's tools, serial monitor, or the easy way is just click the serial monitor up here. Once it's downloaded or uploaded, download is into the computer, out of the computer, it's uploading. Right, okay. And there you go. Done uploading. Press serial. Then on your Arduino left hand little button, press reset. And there we go. The device has been started now. You can eight. All right, it should be pair. I'll just quickly change that uh, with a Bluetooth. Right. Let's go over to our. Device our uh, mobile. Okay, you have the uh, the app open. Now, if you look at the app, there's three little lines. Click that. Second one down. Devices. There you can see we have our ESP thirty two test. Remember we named it ESP thirty two test. Click on that. Connecting to ESP32 test. Connected. Right. Now what we do. Now what we do. Is we go back to Arduino. And if you see here. Enter to send messages. Okay. To ESP32. W Rover module on COM7. What I'm going to put is hello. How are you? Enter. Right. Now let's go back to overhead and see what's happened. There you can see it. Whew. Hello. How are you? Right. I'll, do, I'll leave that so you can see that and I'm gonna type some uh, some more messages um, we are now moving on see that we are now moving on all capitals so I press the capital caps lock the you next time and there we go and there we go right okay so you have now uh, communicated with your mobile on your esp32 using bluetooth great great next time next time we will be um Moving on, and we're going to be looking at Bluetooth, but the uh, BLE one, all right? The BLE, all right? BLE, 
standing for um light or uh, how can you say um how do they say it here low energy all right bluetooth low energy all right so thanks very much for watching please give us a thumbs up okay subscribe and comment and i'll see you in the next video stay safe bye bye